What I'm going to do today is the missing symbol type Mensa brain teaser problem. And I'm going to do this using a system of equations and find the solution for the missing symbol that way. There's another video that I'm also going to post at the same time, which does it by logic and intuition. So there's two videos tackling the same problem, but in slightly different ways. The I newspaper on Saturdays has a Mensa Brain Teaser section as part of the puzzle pullout section within the newspaper. Right, so this is a Mensa Brain Teaser puzzle. I mean, it's got this grid of symbols in this instance, and you've got missing symbols where these question marks are. Okay, so you've got to decide what symbol. Which symbol should replace both question marks? Okay, so it's the same same one. Okay, so what you've got is you've got columns which add up. So you've got a, an at symbol plus a hash symbol plus an at symbol plus a hash symbol equals 160. An at symbol plus a dollar symbol plus a hash symbol plus another dollar symbol equals 120. And you've got another equation going this way so you've got a hash symbol plus a dollar symbol plus an at symbol plus another at symbol equals 135. Now we can work out some little equations to work it out. In, in this video I'm going to write some little sums down, work out some equations and then solve for the equations. And this way always works. In another video which I'm posting the same day as this I'm sort of like Having a, th having a little bit of a think about it and I'm doing it in a much a little bit more of a touchy-feely sort of way and seeing if I can sort of like figure out an easy way to do it okay so you might want to look at that video at the same time but this way just sort of like crunching through the numbers always works with these sort of puzzles first up I'm going to replace the symbols with just some letters okay there's no particular reason there should be symbols rather than letters if i was going to actually solve this puzzle and it's from the newspaper as i say then i would want to uh, write down a d and h so the at symbol is a the dollar symbol is d and the hash symbol is h after writing these down so we can see that this row is that is H plus D plus A plus A. So a shorthand notation for that is H plus D plus 2A equals 135. And I'm doing the same for these two columns. Okay, so you've got an A plus an H plus an A plus an H equals 160. Or 2A plus 2H equals 160. Um, an A plus a D plus an H plus another D equals 120. Okay, an A plus D plus an H plus a D equals 120, or A plus 2D plus an H equals 120. So what we have to do is solve for these three little equations. Find out what the values are of A, H and D. So I'm going to number the equations, because it, it's like, it makes them easier to refer to. So we have three equations and three unknowns. So the unknowns is H, D and A. We combine these equations whatever way is necessary to solve for H, D and A. Okay, so if I, if I look at it, then if I subtract equation 1 from equation 2, so if I put down equation 2, on the left-hand side we've got 2A plus 2H, and then on the left hand side of equation 1 we've got minus h plus d plus 2a. Now on the right hand side we've got for 2 it's 160 and then for 1 we've got 135. Okay, so if I turn through that and sim simplify it is the term. Okay, so you've got 2a minus 2h, so I've written it down again there. So 2a minus 2a plus 2h minus h from this side uh, and then minus d from this side okay and there's no d's here equals 160 minus 35 160 minus 35 now if i work it out 2a minus 2a is no a's left 2h minus h is an h and then minus d is just minus d 
So I'm left with, and I'm going to call this equation 4, h minus d equals 25. Now we need another equation that contains h and d, or just h or d on its own. To work with, I'll go back a slide, this one, equation 4, so we can find out what's h and d. That's our target at the moment. So we go back to our three equation. Now, I can see that if I can subtract equation 2, so this one again, from 2 times equation 3, so I multiply the left and the right-hand side to equation 3 by 2, then 2 times equation 3 is 2a plus 4d plus 2h equals 140. So I go back again. So 2a plus 4d plus 2h equals 240. This gives 2a, taking away equation 2 from 2 times equation 3, you got 2a plus 4d plus 2h minus 2a plus 2h equals 240 minus 160. Okay, so if we turn through that, we've got 2a minus 2a. We got 4d, and there's no d's here, so come away from it, and you got 2h minus 2 inch. So we're just left for 4d on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side we've got 240 minus 160 which is 80. So 4d equals 80 then d equals 20. So let's jot all the equations down that we got at the moment. So we've got the original three equations that we got from the grid and then we've got h minus d equals 25 and we've got d equals 20. So you can probably see where this is going. We can find h from these two quite easily. So if you've got h minus d equals 25, d equals 20, we just add these two together. So 4 plus 5, you've got h minus d on the left, plus d equals 25 on the right, plus 20. No, <coughs> h is on its own. You've got minus d plus a d, so the d's cancel. So you just left with h. And on the right hand side, you've got 25 plus 20, which is 45. So again, we have another look, see what we got. So we've got six equations so far, the original three plus these three that we've kind of like generated. Okay. What you can do now, and I'll tell you, once you know D and you got H, then finding A from any of these three original three equations is going to be a cinch. Okay, so we know that D equals 20, we know H equals 45. Then from two, I'm just picking two because it's just got two symbols in, just easier. You got 2A plus 2H equals 160, so 2A plus 2 times 45, because we know that h is 45, equals 160. So 2a plus 90, 245 is 90, equals 160. Take the 90 from both sides, you're left with 2a on the left, equals 160 minus 90, which is 70. So a equals 35. Okay. So I'll just summarise what we've got, really. We've got d equals 20, h equals 45, and a equals 35. Now the last line in the puzzle says that a hash plus a dollar plus a question mark plus a question mark equals 155 or h plus t plus two question marks equals 155 so if i add the 45 plus the 20 together that's 65 so i got 155 minus 65 which is 90 so the question mark must be 45. we have d equals 20 h equals 45 and a equals 35 so it's h okay it's the hash symbol Ta -da! Right, so what you've just done is simultaneous equations. So you start off with three equations, you have three un unknowns, the at, the hash, and the dollar symbols. Okay, and then using the three equations, you're able to find out what the values of each of the symbols were. You can have two or more simultaneous equations, but if you want to be able to solve them, you have to have at least as many equations as you've got unknown variables. Another little point here is in this grid, you probably realise by now that you've got this column, which is, adds up to 160, this column that adds up to 120. We've got this row, which adds up to 135. We've got this row, which adds up to 155, which is your punchline, which is the one that you've got to find out. So what do these four symbols do? Okay. Well, the answer is absolutely nothing. Okay, so they're red herrings, they're just to make it look, you know, a bit daunting or something. Okay, or to complete a grid or something. So they're not really necessary, they could be left blank. You could have been just given the three equations. <laughs> okay, but if you look at my other video, 
um, you can see that you can just uh, you can just work this out. So if you want to join British Men's or you want you're interested in puzzles, you want to have another look, then uh, you can go to mensa.org.uk to uh, to see what they've got there. If you like my videos, then please consider subscribing. Thank you.